It's all in my way And I need to cry sometimes Good morning, good afternoon, good evening family Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house With me your host, your minister of soul, Khadija. Um, you know what I want to say, y'all, first and foremost, all those of us, you know, in the Midwest right now, uh, Chicago, um, Michigan, you know, Detroit, all of us that are right around this, um, Lake Michigan, it is real... Real, the air quality is really, really freaking, um, just disastrous, and it is from these wildfires that they oh, say. I guess that are burning in Canada, but I'm telling y'all, the air quality is so damn thick that they've already um, put out a warning that we should stay in the house, wear a mask. I wish I could show y'all a picture of what it looks like down here. Because over here, um, like I said, the Midwest is like a blanket um, of smoke. And so I guess y'all in California, y'all used to this. And with the smoke, y'all probably like, what? what's the big deal? But I'm telling you, it is really hard. It's really hard to breathe. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of us can really feel it. So those of us that are in the Midwest, like I said, Chicago, um, Detroit, all of us around this, especially around this Lake Michigan area, Minnesota, um, y'all be careful out here. Uh, and just as I, uh, want to seeing that I was thinking about this other story that I heard y'all and it's kind of deep too it said that humans pump so much groundwater that the earth axis has shifted I want y'all to think about that uh, man is destroying the environment Um, nothing spiritually good can come from this nothing physically good can come from this and um, it has nothing to do with overpopulation, okay? It has a lot to do with greed, and it has a lot to do with certain elitists destroying, as they've always done, destroy the inhabitant and make you have to find something else to do because they've destroyed the environment. They all that's kind of like their claim to fame. It's to where I come, the environment dies. Not overnight, but eventually that's what's gonna happen. So this article states that um humans unquenchable thirst for groundwater has sucked so much of the liquid from the subsurface Reserves that it's affecting the Earth's tilt, according to a new study. Groundwater provides drinking water for people and livestock, and it helps with crop irrigation when rain is scarce. And you know they control it all this kind of stuff with harp and all that shit anyway. Um, anyway, however, the new research shows that persistent groundwater extraction over more than a decade shifted the axis on which our planet rotates, tipping it over to the east at a rate of about 1.7 inches 
That's 4.3 centimeters per year. That shift is even observable on the Earth's surface as it continues to globally sea level, you see sea levels rise. Researchers reported in a study published June 15th in the Global uh, Geograph Geophysical Research Letters, it said, stated, Earth's rotation pole actually changes a lot. Um, it said, uh, our study shows that among the climate-related causes, the redistribution of groundwater actually has the largest impact on the drift of the rotational pole. These people, Look, you know, we can't do this. We cannot destroy the environment, and I believe it's a little too late. Like Gino Vanelli said, where the summers of my life? Have all the seasons gone cold? Oh my God! So anyway, they destroying the damn earth, and they tilt. And it says the earth's interior is layered with rock and magna, surrounded um, a dense surrounding a dense hot core but in the outermost rocky layer there are also vast quantities of water below the planet's surface rocky reservoirs known as quiffers are estimated to contain over a thousand times more water than all the surface rivers and lakes in the world between 1993 and 2010 the period Examined in the study, humans were um, humans extracted more than two um, thousand a hundred and fifty gigatons of groundwater from inside Earth, mostly in western Western North America and what northwestern India, according to the estimates published in 2010. To put that into perspective, if that amount were poured into the ocean, it would raise globally sea levels by about 0.24 inches, 6 millimeters. In 2016, another team of researchers found that drift in the Earth's rotational axis between 2003 and 2015, and it could be linked to the changes in the mass of glaciers and ice sheets as well as the planets. Reserves of terrestrial liquid water. Um, so there's a big impact on um, on the drilling of water. And um, what we gonna do about it? We destroying the earth for our children and our grandchildren and our great grandchildren. We are we are destroying it. The environment. Anyway, I want to know what y'all think about this. Now, this was an article that was uh, was done by Wendy Weisberger, CNN. Um, that bothers me. Because you can't live without water, right? <laughs> okay. Now we all in the axis of the earth core. Tilting it in a different direction because of our thirst and non-stop greed and manipulation of the elements. Tell me what you think. I'm going to shut up. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I'm going to be back. I'm going to pump out a little bit. And I'll see you in the next video. No pun intended.